All right, gamers, my name is Advoyance, and today we were given some good news for modding communities and modders everywhere. A new post appeared on the Team Fortress blog titled, The TF2 SDK Has Arrived which in it creates a massive upgrade on the existing source SDK that's generally used for creating mods and maps for Counter-Strike Source, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, Team Fortress 2 Classic, of course, and more. As we already know, the Team Fortress 2 source code is out there. This creates a more streamlined way for modders to share and create. This update to the Source SDK really is a huge deal for the modding community because of the entirely open ability to do what they want with Team Fortress 2 and modify it in a completely free and sanctioned way. So let me go read the blog post now because it definitely says it better than I can. The TF2 SDK has arrived. Mod makers rejoice. We've just released a massive update to the Source SDK, adding all the Team Fortress 2 client and server game code. This update will allow content creators to build completely new games based on TF2. We're also doing a big update to our multiplayer back catalog Source Engine titles, TF2, Day of Defeat Source, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, Counter-Strike Source, and Half-Life Deathmatch Source. Adding 64-bit binary support, a scalable HUD slash UI, prediction fixes, and a lot of other improvements. Unlike the Steam Workshop or local content mods, the SDK gives mod makers the ability to change, extend, or rewrite TF2, making anything from small tweaks to complete conversions possible. Side note, I would say that's the most important detail. Moving on, the SDK is licensed to users on a non-commercial basis, meaning that any mod created using the SDK must be free, and any content in those mods must be free. TF2 mods may be published on the Steam Store, and after publication will appear as new games in the Steam game list. What that means really is you can make a game, publish it on Steam, and it'll be in a TF2 mod list, kind of like how you see on the Half-Life or Half-Life 2 store pages. Players have a lot of investment in their TF2 inventories, and Steam Workshop contributors have created a lot of that content. The majority of items in the game now are thanks to the hard work of the TF2 community. To respect that, we're asking TF2 mod makers to continue to respect that connection, and to not make mods that have the purpose of trying to profit off Workshop contributors' efforts. We're hoping that many mods will continue to allow players to access their TF2 inventory, if this makes sense for the mod. Then there's of course important links to the GitHub page for Source SDK 2013, and some more update notes for the games that were listed above. That's all I've got for today. I hope this was helpful in understanding the new update. My name is Envoyans. Take care.